planning sisters. It is time to plan for a new month. So let's get this glam April party started. So just like the last plan with me, we're going to be planning in an A5 or half letter glam planner, ring bound planner, as well as the Erin Condren hourly spiral planner. So the first thing I do when I'm getting ready for a new month is of course put my sticker binder together and then I switch out my planner cover to a something seasonal. So that's done. And then I also punch my dashboard and seasonal living list. And I like to put that right here. I have a separate tutorial on doing this. If you just love the idea of having little extras punched into your planner. So these are ready to go. This side will be a memory planning page that we actually build together every month. We're about to do March. It's called memory plan with me. If you're curious about kind of how I do a little monthly recap and we are going to start with the monthly layout here and then for our ring bound planner I always like to kind of do the same thing so I put a dashboard in the front so our hello April dashboard and I just love how it coordinates with our dividers I have a fun little bunny pen that matches my post-its so I like to Add some fun little post-its and a pen and then some seasonal clips. So I have my peep clip ready to go here. Just stick it in the side for now. And we will flip over and start planning for April in our monthly layout. First, I'm going to get the headers out of my sticker binder here and whatever else we need to build this layout. So here are the glam planner headers and then the bigger version here and then I'm going to get the seasonal glam monthly which is designed to go on a monthly layout but you could absolutely use it on the weekly too and then maybe some day banners because I think those are really fun to decorate and these functional icon stickers so we'll pull we'll pull all of these out and maybe we'll even use some words. Okay, first the ring bound. So all of our headers tell a really fun seasonal story and I'm actually gonna put the this one down first. Oh wait, no, just kidding, it goes on the bottom. All right, so I was thinking it was gonna be, there was gonna be a little scene there, but that was the last couple months. So they tell a fun little story and this seasonal scene was inspired by an Easter egg hunt that my church in Denver hosted every year and it was really fun and just uh, something for the community to look forward to and all the kids came around I was like the Easter bunny I don't know bunny's wife I guess one time <laughs> so I thought that was really cute and lots of kids coming out I didn't have a full costume on I was more there to assist the Easter bunny <laughs> all right but I did have some really cute ears Okay, so that's the top and looks like looks like we rode our bike to the Easter egg hunt and then I just love the church. So then along the bottom here, I'm going to add this big scene in this empty space below. So we've got a complete Easter egg hunt, including some glam Easter baskets. Are you guys making yourself a glam Easter basket this year? Next, I'm gonna add this last piece of the scene here on the bottom. And then, last but not least, I'm going to add this cute little bunny pattern to Easter weekend right here. And that is it for now on this layout. I'm going to switch over and do the same thing on my ring bound, or excuse me, on my spiral planner. Okay, this one is a little bit different. We have a little bit more room for a scene here, so there's an extra box, and it's going to go over 31, and it's just a little gal with her Easter basket walking through or to the Easter hunt. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm going to put her head. <laughs> and just connect connect it right here. I hope you guys are enjoying these fun festive scenes. It's been really fun to put them together for you and 
think up a new fun narrative. Part of what I love about Paper and Glam is that we're always designing to a seasonal narrative and that's something that is just fun and kind of sets us apart throughout the year. We have some really fun things planned for for June and July, which we're just finishing up. So this box is gonna be the same as on the other side. And then we also have the same scene here on the bottom. So spoiler alert for July, we did a really fun Glamericana barbecue. And then for the June seasonal scene is a really fun pool party. And May, you're like, what about May? May? Well, May may just need to stay in the bag because it's awesome and it's also releasing on the first. So you'll see it tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing and put these Easter bunnies on Easter weekend. And we've got two Easter bunnies for our spiral layout. So there's one and then the other one we'll put on Easter Sunday right here. Okay, and then we have one more fun extra box, and I think I'm gonna put this on the fourth here because I'm actually going home to Napa. I'm flying home to Napa on the fourth. I'm not gonna be able to um, spend Easter with my family because Stagecoach is the weekend after that, so being gone twice in a row is, is not quite in the cards for me. Got to get back and keep those orders flowing, you know what I mean? And keep our design schedule on track and all of that. So I'm going to go home that day. So I'm just going to align the header to that special day. Okay, so here's our layout so far. Doesn't it look so fun and just get you all excited to live in April and just for a brand new month, brand new fresh, fresh start. So next I'm going to add my date dots on to the planner here. So before I put all my date dots on, I was just kind of thinking through some special days and May releases on the 1st, so on Monday like we were talking about. So I used this little square from the Seasonal Glam Monthly and the May releases sticker from this sheet and I wanted to use this purple because I think it's really fun that it matches this gal's dress. And I didn't quite get that on straight, but that's okay. So we have May releases, a big one. And then this last weekend is Stagecoach. So I thought it might be a little bit too much to use some of like the festival weekly kit down here, but need to think of a cute way to like mark it off, probably with some of our Glam Washi. So I was thinking I might use the Washi from Glam Festival, but it's not really matching my Easter vibes. Well, it does match. It's intentionally the very same colors, but I, you know, it's a different kind of, it's not, it's throwing off my Easter egg hunt vibe. So I think I'm gonna use this plaid just to mark off the days that I am gonna be gone having my annual vacay. And just a quick reminder, book club is the week before this week or this month because I'm gonna be gone. That's in the book club planner kit. It's on the schedule, but I just wanted to issue a PSA because I don't want you to miss book club and I've actually never moved it in four years almost this is our fifth year so this is my first time rescheduling book club but um it's just a little bit too much with my bestie flying in and we're gonna do a meetup on Thursday in Palm Springs with some paper and glam girls if you happen to be going to stagecoach we will be doing our we'll be doing a live book club uh, we're not really gonna do book club but um we're gonna be doing a, a live meetup okay so I'm gonna rip this up and then use the other side for Wednesday here. And, uh, oh, it's not quite long enough. Should we use it anyway? Type awesome's decisions. I'm gonna have to use another one anyway because you gotta mark off Sunday and Monday too. So we'll get a fresh washi. What are you guys really excited about this month? I am excited for a couple vacays. I am so ready for a spring break. How about you guys? And then Wednesday, almost a week off here. I'll be working Wednesday morning, but got five days almost. Okay, so that's blocked off and is fun. And let's see, should I block off my trip to Napa too, potentially? 
Let's see. I don't want to like washy up my whole planner or introduce another color. So, let's see, is floral going to be too much? Too many focal points? A little too much. I'm excited to use our Glam Flights and maybe some Glam Getaway stickers too. So next I'm going to trim down some Glam Flights planner stickers. I'm just going to use the Departure and Arrival portion and put those here on my monthly since the full, the full box is a little too much for a monthly layout, but I do want to have the times that the plane is taking off. So I think I'm going to keep with kind of the purple theme and use purple or let's see they all match which I love <laughs> or should we use pink because we got that going maybe one of each okay I'm gonna just trim the actual sticker sheet here and then the same with this purple one all right got it nice and straight next I'm gonna top those boxes with a header just for fun and then put a little plane icon on top so the plane is gonna be from glam getaway which is in the outlet and if you haven't shopped the glam outlet there's so much good stuff in there we outlet things whenever we're ready to do an update and then we just bust out our update when um, when it sells out so glam getaway isn't getting an update anytime soon so if you want to grab it out of the outlet, do so. There's maybe like 20 left. So here she is. Uh-oh. My sticker binder is getting away from me. Okay. So I'm going to grab some planes. There's also cars and little the flight trackers too. And then um, little location markers, which is really fun. Okay. So we have that. And... I'm just going to add my planes up top here. I love how this is coming out. It's making me get really excited for my trip. <laughs> All right, and same here. Okay, Ooh, yeah, love it. I'm just going to write in the times. Okay, times are down. Next, I'm going to add my seasonal celebrations from the Seasonal Glam Monthly. So we have Easter Day and Earth Day. We know which days those are on. So I'll put them down real quick. I love these little labels la layered over the layered over the fun patterns. Okay, and then Earth Day right next door. I think I'm actually gonna use the header that is the rain drops header. It would be fun for a rainy day, but I think I'm actually going to use it for maybe Good Friday because that's kind of a somber day and rain kind of reflects that. So I'll put that here and then add a little icon maybe. And then we have pet day. Consulting my seasonal living list here off to the side. So it's April 11th, in case anyone was thinking I had them memorized. Although I, you'd think I would by now. <laughs> but so many of them move around because they're like the third Thursday or whatnot. Okay, so pet day. Then we have PB&J day. How are you guys celebrating PB&J day? I'm thinking the PB&J Bones coffee. How about you? I've been loving their Irish cream for March because, you know, why not even make my coffee seasonal? We have pineapple cake day on the 20th. My mom's making pineapple cake when I go home. It's my grandma's favorite and her birthday is actually on the 22nd. So she is turning 93. Can you guys imagine? And let's see, the rest of these do not have specific days, but Easter decor and let's see, ooh, Easter coffee, let's see, nope. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to any of those. So let's see, I think the last thing I'm gonna use on this sheet is, I always just mark off our subscription day, which is the eighth every month for my Glam Mail subscribers, you guys already know. So our orders come in on the eighth and then we always get them out by the 15th every month. 
and then the new collection releases on the first so you have kind of like a little a little week to figure out what you would like and then we just ship everything out um, between the 8th and the 15th and that's that's the game every month so we have a really fun travel kit releasing on the first that's our weekly kit for may so if you do have a trip coming up i got you covered okay so i think that's it for this sheet next i like to use some fun little day banners on the sidebar here so i think it would be fun to use some easter eggs since we've got an easter egg hunt going next i'm going to use these icon stickers for labeling each of the celebrations so we have earth day here and then i'm going to use the church for easter day and we have a really fun png ampersand we have a jelly ampersand over here so there's our toast let's see pet day we have our stickerfied sunday the bear so i've been reading this book lately called off the clock and i feel like it's a book that i've been looking for my entire life it's so good and it was talking about how one of the importances the most important thing you can do for happiness is making sure all your days aren't like the other days and i was just thinking how much um, seasonal living really plays in a into that because if we can remember our days we feel like we spent them well and it kind of stops that feeling of i don't know what happened to march it just flew by you know how how that happens okay we have pineapple cake day here and we got all our days our days labeled so i'm gonna move back to my ring bound planner we do have palm sunday here maybe i'll put put a little something over there i'm going to use this last pattern header on the seasonal glam monthly to cover up palm sunday don't you guys just love how everything coordinates and just matches we've got kind of a lot going on already but it just looks so uniform that it doesn't feel overwhelming all right, I'm getting out my date flags, and these are for people like me who have multiple planners, so they need more fun little date dots or date flags, or, you know, of course you could use it plain, but if you want to add a little decor to your planner, there's extras, so that is there, and then I actually alphabetize my sticker binder because, you know, type awesome, and then I can find everything in here, since so we've got so many fun fun stickers so flights goes under f and i know where it is for next time i think actually before i move on or move back to my ring bound planner i think i'm just going to put down my box stickers so what i do with my box stickers is i kind of make them a focal point for the week and you saw that in my last plan with me with multiple planners so i'm just going to grab these and also the box stickers from Glam Easter. So the seasonal extra is kind of meant to be like a mini weekly kit. So this might be fun to use for Easter. You could use it throughout the whole month. So let's see, we have, we have these two. So we'll start planning around each of these. And so the first week of uh, April is uh, Actually, the first is on Monday, which I love. I said that in the last video, but I love when the, when the month breaks nicely. So I'm gonna use this Hello April for my focal point. The only thing I have down so far is our Easter countdown, which did sell out for in a quick minute, but it'll be back next year. And we've got Christmas countdowns and Halloween countdowns and Valentine's countdowns. We love a good countdown. So I have that down and then I'd like to put a header underneath. So I'm going to put the this week header right underneath. So let's see what color should we use? Should we use purple since it's like the, the start of a new month and April is our purple month. In Paper and Glam Land every month has a kind of official color and then it has a color palette that we We've assigned for the month, and so we kind of use the same 12 colors to design everything. It's actually more like 14 because for November we have a brown and a berry that we kind of switch back and forth because those colors kind of need a partner. And then um, we also put yellow all through the spring months, so kind of makes for 14. So that is done. And then I also like to pick out a weekend banner too. 
I just realized I forgot to put my book club sticker down on the monthly view. We have our book club stickers available as individual sheets now and of course we have our book club planner kits in the shop too if you want the full schedule and the fun bookmarks and all that good stuff or if you just want like a an extra sheet. It is there so we are reading The Favorite Sister this month and book club is on the 18th. Okay moving back to Ringbound so I put my date flags on and next I'm going to use the Easter Sunday sticker on top of Easter Sunday here. Let's see, maybe I'll use like a little header on the bottom. Okay, so I grabbed a pattern header, a purple polka dot one to keep with our theme, just to kind of highlight the celebration sticker a little bit so it doesn't blend in and get lost with the pattern. And then I'm going to put the church right here. There we go. And then I think I'm gonna leave the rest pretty open. I'm gonna try and write a memory for every day this month and, or just like something I'm grateful for. I think it'd be a good little gratitude and memory keeping exercise. So I think that's it for the monthly. Okay, so next let's get some date covers and weekend banners on this sheet. So I'm gonna grab the weekend banners here and the date covers. So let's see, where are my date covers? So many April stickers, so little time. There we go. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna work backwards here. So we'll start from the end of the month. So this is Stagecoach Week. So I'm gonna use the Glam Festival kit for Stagecoach Week. And if you're like, oh my gosh, Glam Festival, I'll show it to you really quick in case you missed the Meet the Glam April video. So this is it. I'm gonna definitely use it for this last week here. Hopefully I'll get to a second, a second plan with me, but I'm gonna skip over this last week and then we have Easter here. So let's see what we wanna do working backwards from that. So. Easter has a really fun weekend banner here. I want to use this Easter weekend banner. I love how it came out with the three crosses. So I think, um, let's see what, what banner works for that. We'll do like a rainy, I wonder when it's going to rain. It's been raining a ton. I'm like, I want to do like a rainy day themed week. I think that'd be super fun. Um, so rainy, rainy date covers here. So I think I'm going to use these tulips. Let's see. And then what box stickers do we want to use? We also have a really fun double box to use here. So I think it'd be fun to use these tulips in this double box together also. And maybe the weekend banner. That would also match really well with the Peeps banner. So many cute stickers to choose from. So I decided to keep Easter week nice and clean and use these polka dot date covers and then use this double box along the bottom because I think that would be probably just enough with this weekend banner or the peeps would look super cute too. Darn, now I kind of want to use this double box with the peeps. Okay, I made a decision and then I backtracked. Okay, all right, so we'll use it on the week before. <laughs> Same plan, different week. I'm actually going to use my double box on the bottom here and I will just line it up with so should I use, I'll give myself a little more room on the weekend and kind of move it down a little bit. And here's the other side here. And then we can use our super cute Peep Weekend banner at the top. We'll have a nice fun Peep themed week. There we go, so that's nice and straight and fun and now date covers Let's see should we use tulips tulips kind of match so do the polka dots maybe we'll do easter week first and go process of elimination so i'm going to use this super fun easter weekend banner here and i always get lots of questions where do the weekend planners go in the glam planner and uh, you can put them wherever you'd like but i think it's really fun to put them over Friday and Saturday and kind of have this whole side dedicated to the weekend. And let's see, what box stickers do we want to use for Easter? We have a fun church and let's see, these actually might look pretty cute. Might not be too much. Let's see. I don't think that's too much. I think it's kind of cute. Let's see what boxes we want to use though. 
I didn't finish Easter yet, but process of elimination here. I'm gonna use this Gold Bunny and Easter Egg weekend banner here since I'm going home to celebrate Easter with my family here. It'll kind of be like a pre, a pre-Easter, a pre-ster celebration here. And then I wanna use that box that has that same bunny. Uh-oh, Sunday's upset, you guys. Sunday the bear doesn't care that we're in the middle of doing a plan with me. She's upset that the neighbors came home. Okay, I've decided to use the triple box at the bottom of Easter week, because how fun is this Easter egg dyeing triple box? I actually don't I dye Easter eggs, but I'm sure you guys do if you have kids. Not that you need to have kids to dye Easter eggs, but it's kind of like carving pumpkins. I like the idea of it, and I have so many fun memories, but... I haven't done it in a few years. How about you guys? Do you guys carve pumpkins and dye Easter eggs? I like that these gals are having an Easter egg dyeing party. I think that'd be a super fun party idea, even for grown-ups. Like it'd be a fun brunch theme with all the Easter coffee. You could even exchange glam Easter baskets. Seasonal living goals. Okay, that is so fun. I can barely handle it. All right, now, now we're back to the date cover dilemma. So, do we want to use tulips or polka dots? Okay, here's how Easter week came out. As I go through the week, I'll be filling in with the rest of these. I'll probably save the peep sticker for the other side, but I'm gonna be filling in with these five for sure, just kind of as we map through. And then on this week, I decided to use the tulips because I felt like the colors worked perfectly so i'm gonna get those down and then we're gonna add some washi okay we have some date covers down and i'm gonna add washi last but not least just to kind of tie everything together maybe i'll do this side first so i can kind of see where i want it maybe right underneath this bottom line here I'm going into the double box I'm gonna put the rest of it on the other side. Oh, it's not quite long enough, but close enough. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same for Easter week. I'm actually gonna use this big chunky version of the polka dots on this side. And maybe we'll do the plaid underneath. I think that might be fun. So we'll get the skinny plaid. I think that would tie everything together nicely. So skinny plaid first along the bottom and then we'll put the big polka dots on top. So there's that. And then big polka dots. Make it nice and cohesive. Give the eye some order. Okay, I think that's as much planning ahead as I'm gonna do in my ring bound planner, so let's switch back to spiral. All right, working backwards, this is stagecoach week, so we'll flip to Easter week and I'll use the church for church on Sunday. You'll have to excuse Sunday. She's under my desk and she's groaning. <laughs> so that is a fun sticker to use there. And then Let's see, what Easter-y thing will we use over here? There's my Easter stickers. Maybe Easter coffee or the Easter basket probably is really fun. So we'll use that up at the corner. And then we need a matching this week sticker. Okay, there's Easter week for now. And let's see, should we add some washi and some weekend banners? Which, maybe the blue washi or the purple one. Let's finish our boxes. Okay, this week we are actually having our annual sale, so you heard it here first. It won't be any of the new releases though, so you can let your April and May orders rip. Um, and let's see, the weekend before, we already have our, our tulips here. Tulips Hello banner. I love these little tulip rain boots, but I also need to have an Easter coffee week, so I think we'll make the Easter coffee, another focal point. Also, Live Life in Full Bloom, that's one of my favorite ones too. 
They're all my favorite, decisions, decisions. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do in the way of pre-planning. I'm kind of a plan as I go planner, not kind of, I am. So I think that's a wrap, but I hope this gave you some fun ideas for your planner. I especially love the monthly, it looks so fun and festive. Um, I would love to send our April collection home with you. We have really fast shipping, so you place the order and a lot of times you'll get a shipping notification like almost immediately. So that is that and I hope to see you guys again soon. We have book club on Thursday. Actually, never mind if you're watching this, it already happened. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of housekeeping stuff. I guess I will see you for new releases on the first. We post everything on Facebook as it's being released and everything will be up, um, yeah, under new releases and fresh glam. And until next time, sisters, thanks so much for spending a piece of your day with me.